Hi everyone. I just got an order back from the Sydney Art Store and I'm going to unbox it now and have a look at what's inside. Yay! Oh. <laughs> uh. A lot of packaging. Okay, so I've got a bunch of gambling bits and pieces here. Um, I've got some Gamsol. Um, I don't know, I've heard a lot of good things about gambling, so I kind of figured that um, I might as well go for them. Um, they're a little bit pricier than the regular art spectrum, but um, I kind of felt like it was worth it for yeah, for my art. <laughs> So, um, yeah, the Gamsol is just because I wanted to try it out. I don't imagine it's going to be a whole lot different to any old um, artist mineral spirits. But, yeah, I just thought I'd give it a go. Um, I got Galkid Light as well because I just like um, a medium that um, makes your paints a bit more fluid, particularly like with the quite solid ones, like your titanium whites and your um, fur numbers, um, raw umber, either raw. Um, they tend to be a bit thick and yeah, don't spread very easily. So I like a medium that will spread it a bit easier. And um, I also like something that will help it to dry a little bit quicker because I hate waiting for oils to dry. Uh, they're so beautiful to paint with but they just take forever to dry so um, yeah so that's why I thought I'd try the Gal Hood. I've tried other mediums that are similar but um, I don't know I just thought I'd give it a go. Um, and the things that I really wanted was um, Gamva. Um, Gamlin's varnish. So I got the I got a larger um, gloss version, um, 250ml, just to try out really, um, and a smaller matte version because uh, you can put usually put like a couple of coats of gloss on and then a matte if you want the matte finish. Um, whereas with the gloss you need to put like all gloss. So the big thing I want to try with these is that most varnishes actually um, you have to wait till the oils are fully dry and that can take up to six months um, whereas this kind of varnish has been designed so that it just has to be touch dry um, so you can pretty much like when, whenever you can touch it you can pretty much paint this over the top just so long as you know um, it's not gonna like melt into your paints or something like that so um, yeah, so that's what I got. Um, I'm really excited to try those out. I'm going to try them out for you um, on my skull painting, which is just finished. Um, so I will have just put up a link to that video and I'll put that in the description below. Um, so yeah, check out that video of me painting it if you would like. Um, and I will now show you what the varnishes are like. So here's my skull painting before I've painted it with the Gamva. And I don't know if you can really see well in this, but there's some glossy spots where I've glazed and some bits that are not as glossy. So here I am painting the Gamva on. This is the Gamva gloss. So I basically just pour it on just a little bit and just make sure you paint it all over and stuff before it rolls off the edges. <laughs> uh, and just, you know, spread it out and around the edges and then start working it in uh, either horizontal or vertical stripes. And you want to do about 
you know, two or three coats. With, and this is it all coated with the varnish. And you can see the colors pop. And I also did my space unicorn. This one's really great. You can see the colors pop as I'm painting it around, yeah. So it just makes the colors more vibrant and unified. Um, any uh, bits that I've glazed often look shiny before I varnish and the rest sort of has a bit more of a matte appearance. But when I varnish my paintings, it just makes everything nice and glossy and unified. Thank you for watching and I hope that you liked this video. Um, let me know what your favourite mediums are in the comments below. Um, and feel free to like and subscribe and uh, I'll catch you next time.